Make sure to stick around to the end of the video for a special announcement. And the masters of the universe! In 1981, toy designer Mark Taylor and toy designer Roger Sweet designed and created He-Man for Mattel Toys. And it got into a big production with different characters and the castle playsets. And the toys came with a little mini comic that gave a little history to the characters and their universe. A little later on, DC Comics would expand it even further with more characters and world building as the adventures of He-Man fighting off Skeletor to keep him from getting to Castle Grayskull and taking ownership of Castle Grayskull and therefore taking ownership over Eternia. So these adventures expanded with uh, the Filmation cartoon in 1983 that became very popular for little people like little Mr. Rossi here. And the uh, you got to collect every one of the figures that you got to see in the cartoons. These are action figures of my own collection that are available now. Here you have the different types of He-Man, a space He-Man on the far left back there, and the movie He-Man as depicted here in the 1987 movie, Live Action. This is a documentary which gives it a much better uh, origin than I could give it. And as always, I will have a description down below where you can get this. Hey guys. Welcome to the Mr. Rossi Art Studio, where you're gonna learn how to draw this guy right here. Or he could be over here. I don't know. This is the character we're going to be drawing today. Now, doesn't matter the size of your paper, what matters is where we start, which is with his head, his cabeza. You want to have enough space for the top of the sword and the bottom of the feet down here. So, let's begin. As you can see right here, his cabeza starts with a nice little happy face. Hey guys, just want to interrupt the video right quick to show you that if uh, you're watching these lessons and it's going a little bit too fast, like I'm moving a little too fast for you, all you gotta do is come back down here to the little gear right there on the bottom right hand side where it says settings and right up here where it says playback speed, you can, uh, this goes anywhere below normal, it moves faster, anywhere above normal, the word normal, it'll slow down the, the speed so that you could take your time and watch it slowly. Okay, just wanna remind you about that. Again, just a little gear menu down here, go to playback speed, Click on there, above normal will slow it down. And if I'm going too slow, you can always speed it up. All right, guys, now back to our regularly scheduled program. So let's start right about here with that happy face for his bottom of his cabeza. A little later when we're done, we'll trace everything up with a Sharpie so you can see it better. And then, you know, color it up nice and neatly. So the top of the arm, or the one side of the arm. I'm going to start right here at the top of this happy face and just draw a little sad face like this. I'm going to put my pencil right here at the top. Just draw a little sad face right there like that. I'm going to draw another sad face with a circle right on top. Now I'm going to draw a happy face from here all the way to where I started my happy face. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to draw a happy face all the way to where I started my happy face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that hand since I'm already there. Just put a little happy face right here. You got the thumb. And if you put a happy face one time, two times, and three times, you have the hand creating that fist. Put a little circle right there, and you have the hilt, which is what holds is that the handle. And uh, the sword, while well, we're right up here, you put a little happy face on one side, little happy face on the other, a little number one, and another little happy face. Now you're just going to draw a little happy face here and a happy face here. Happy face here. Happy face here. On one side you want to do a capital letter D. And on the other side a backwards capital letter D. You got his sword. And you put right here a happy face. He's got his little gauntlet. And you put right here a little circle. That's called an elbow. And you put a little happy face right there. There's some muscle definition. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. I want to start here with a little number one right here for the side of his neck. Don't worry, a little later we'll do the hair and the face and all that jazz. 
Let's put your pencil right about here and put a little sad face going all the way around and stop. And I'll put a little diagonal number one right there. And I'm going to draw that hand coming out with just some sort of little diagonal line. Just right there. A little diagonal line. Kind of looks like a backwards letter T or upside down letter T. So I'm going to put a little letter J right there. It's a little letter J. Add another letter J, another letter J, and another letter J. So I got one, two, three, four fingers. A little happy face right there will give you a thumb. And if you go from the thumb to that pinky right there with a happy face, you got that hand. All right. Let's come back over here. Let's do this side right here. I'm just going to draw a little happy face and stop. My pencil right there. Draw a little happy face and stop. Put a little number one right there. Now I'm going to put my pencil right here. And I'm going to draw a happy face and connect it to this happy face. Happy face from here connect it right there and again I'm gonna draw another number one right there and I'm gonna close this here with a number one put a little sad face right there now he's got his gauntlets and both arms you can put a little happy face right there for a little bit of chest close it right here with a happy face put another happy face right there and then I'm gonna put one big sad face like this one big sad face like that. That's his armor. A little later, we'll put that little detail right here. <clears throat> you want to go ahead and, excuse me, happy face, happy face, and a happy face. Now, we're going to draw his, uh, put a little happy face right there for the beginning of the belt. I'm going to draw a little number one on the left, a little number one on the right, a little happy face, a little, sorry, a little sad face right there, a little sad face right there. A little sad a smaller sad face here smaller sad face here here we'll go the letter L and a backwards letter L put your pencil here in the middle give me a little happy face and you can draw a line from that happy face straight down to that letter L I give it a little bit of a happy face twist a little happy face twist I close it here with a sad face, close it here with a sad face, put a little happy face right there, put a letter C there, a little backward letter C right there, with a little happy face, and another little happy face, and you're going to put one, two, three happy faces, one, two, three happy faces. That little bit of the armor right there, <clears throat> straight line, horizontal, horizontal, vertical, vertical, horizontal connect them happy face here happy face here sad face here sad face there the top of the head I'm just gonna start right about here I'm gonna put a little sad face and a little happy face with a happy face two times one coming out two and three here we'll go just like the bottom of the boots down here just little happy faces, a diagonal line, a diagonal line, the little nose is just going to be a little happy face there, put a little sad face from one side all the way to the other with a horizontal line and another one inside for the teeth. If you want to make it look just a little bit better, you want to go ahead and put a sad face and a sad face and one more little diagonal line. One more little diagonal line, and there is He-Man. Now, I'm going to trace it up so that you can see it again in trace formation. And I'll go kind of like a little quick review. For my He-Man video, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have of He-Man, uh, starting with uh, the little mini comics that come with the toys. Now these are for the modern toys. You can find these and I'll have a little picture to show you. You go to Walmart, you can go to Target and you can pick up these new action figures. Um, they come with a little mini comic. 
Okay, something similar to this. Here's a few other ones that I have here that came with other action figures, all right? And um, they're just like a little story inside, you know, just like when uh, they came out the first time years and years ago. Little, I have the pop, very similar to the drawing that we're doing, guys, very similar, okay? And um, so you could get into the adventures of He-Man. You could see the collection of He-Man figures so you can collect them all. One of my books of He-Man, the art of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And uh, this goes through like the history of this beautiful painting of He-Man riding a, a, a lion and Skeletor on top of an elephant. That amazing stuff right there. And um, this was the first concept drawing of He-Man. says, your early production notes and very first sculpt of He-Man. Very much just a barbarian right off the gate. And this was the very first He-Man um, action figure. This is what he was, what he looked like when they first created him. I love the, uh, the little fur and his action pose. Uh, some more character designs, early character designs. 1982. A very, very, very small little Mr. Rossi in 1982 times. All uh, right here you can see this was the um, drawing for how the action figure should look with his legs split open like that for an action pose. Unlike uh, some of the action figures that came out back that were out then, like, uh, let me show you right quick. This was what we had back then as far as action figures. We had... Star Wars and Star Wars action figures as you can see with my Luke Skywalker here from that time He didn't have an action pose though as awesome as we loved our Luke Kind of just stood there with his arms straight forward and his legs and feet straight forward Okay, where now with He-Man you got the action pose and the action ready stance Same with Skeletor you get your man at arms and your Tila and the bad guys, one of my favorites was Beastman. Still is till this day. And Merman. Some of my favorites. Many faces. You hit that little knob on the top and he changes faces. Just like it does right there. So, uh, just, just, you know, flash forward just a little bit here. Vehicles. Castles. And uh, that, that's what it was first. It was a toy line. This was the original He-Man that came out. I would show you, maybe I'll take a picture of it and show it to you guys a little later in this video. My original he-man from my favorite first christmas uh little mr rossi 1982 um let's move on forward and i don't know what i got here but oh this is beautiful this was the artwork for the castle grayskull box when you got the castle grayskull in there it's called packaging art it's beautiful stuff guys beautiful paintings they were commissioned uh so that you know to sell the product. Look at these beautiful paintings. One of my favorites. He-Man writing Battle Cat. So, yeah, it, was, it wasn't it was just the toy line. It was pieces of art in this beautiful fantasy, futuristic uh, story. And you got a comic book. He-Man was probably, to me, seemed like it's the only uh, toy line that was a toy line. It was beautiful pieces of art in this fantasy sci-fi future. And mini comics it was like a multi-layered uh and you got she-ra came out years later for the girls to enjoy because girls loved he-man so much and uh, she turned out to be like uh, she's a uh, he-man's twin sister the cartoons came out after that mr filmation himself lou Scheimer, an animation pioneer guys if you want to learn more about this guy who created awesome cartoons i have a description down below for this book right here which were beautiful and um, I can't stress it enough. You could find them on Amazon. You could find them on, on, on YouTube. Episodes of He-Man. Um, yeah, I mean, what more can I tell you? This is one of my favorite um, Christmases. It was my favorite go-to show. One of my favorite action figures next to my Star Wars was my He-Man collection. I loved my He-Man. I loved my um, Castle Grayskull. And um, I, the Castle Grayskull is still one of my most favorite uh, toys to this day. And beautiful artwork, gorgeous artwork. I don't think any toy line could ever or had ever uh, done the beautiful artwork that He-Man commissioned. 
So guys, if you like this video, you like this stuff, I'll see you. I can put some links below. So if you like this art book, you can pick it up on Amazon. Um, if you want to see the series, you can watch the series wherever you can. I think Hulu has them. And um, get into this original, very originally thought out, beautifully put together, masterful masters of the universe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to drop it right here, right where it was like the, the picture of what I was trying to create with my Mr. Rossi He-Man drawing for you guys. The real deal right there. Perfect way to end this segment. If you like this video, again, give it a like, subscribe. You know all that YouTube stuff. You know, tell your neighbors. Tell Abuelo from across the street. Tell the dog. Tell the cat. Tell the person you met at Walmart to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And the next video is going to be just as action-packed as this one right here. Until next time, guys, be good to yourselves and to each other. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that awesome YouTube stuff. If you are a follower, you follow me, Mr. Rossi's channel, and you leave a comment down below, I will hold a raffle for that lucky person to get this drawing that I did on this video with a little mini comic. And guess what? The next video is going to be for you ladies. Ba -bum -ba -da -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. She ra, she ra, she ra, Mr. Rossi style. So guys, get your swords ready and your pencils. Till next time.